everybody. Welcome back. We're here for another fun-filled day of science, and I'm so excited you're here with me. So yesterday we began talking about force and the role it played in our previous experiments. And you learned that a force is any amount of strength or energy put onto an object. We talked about how the water filling the cup put a force on the cup. Um, if we would have keep doing that over time, or if we would have left the water in the cup, the water would have put force on the cup, causing it to break down. Okay, um, those paper cups are not meant to keep water out for forever. They're meant to be quick use items, so it would have eventually absorbed water and gotten so mushy or soft that it would have fallen apart. So we added force there. We also put force on the water by forcing it to spill over the top because we filled the cup. We then put force onto the cups in the first experiment by continuously adding pennies. The way we put the pennies in the cup, the amount of pennies we put in the cup, are all examples of force. The cup also um, put force onto the water by pushing it out of the way so that it could sink and by pushing itself down into the water. All of those are examples of force that we've seen so far through that ex those through those experiments, excuse me. Now, remembering what force is and what it does, think about how it works. Think about what would happen if you were to add more or less force. Think back to the penny experiment. With only one or two pennies in the cup, our boat wouldn't sink. But we found out that at you know, 17, 24 pennies, we had enough pennies to sink our ship, right? So think about that for a second. With fewer pennies, with less force, we didn't have the ability to sink our ships. But with more pennies and more force, we did. Overall, that tells us that as you apply more force, more should happen, regardless of it's our penny and ship experiment or your ability to push something, pick something up. It's going to require more force to make it happen. I can't just sit here and barely touch the lid of this vitamin bottle, vitamin D vitamin bottle, to get the lid to come off. It's not how it works. I have to push down a little bit or apply more force in order to unscrew it. And I can sit here and screw it back on gently. It stopped, but it's not really screwed on all the way or tight. So I have to apply more force to finish the job. And then it's more force also to lift the top lid. Okay. Think about those things as you work through your assignment today. There's also a good supplemental video for you that helps talk through this theory more. I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Also, sorry, your assignment. Um, what do you think about all of this? Do you think it makes sense that as we apply more force, more things should happen? or there should be more of an outcome from your actions. Is that hypothesis or thought reasonable? Answer that question in your discussion post today. Now I will see you guys tomorrow, and I still hope you have a great day. Goodbye.